How are you doing, Brian King, UK Floor TV? Uh, today we're back over at Fit Up, the Flooring Industry Training Association over in Loughborough. Uh, we're joined by our very own UK Carpet Fitter of the Year, current winner, Dan Jones. How are you doing? Yeah, not bad. So, uh, uh, the two of you, Dan, we've not done one for a while. It's been, uh, yeah, it's been, been a few weeks since we've done one. Yeah. Uh, what we're doing this week, Dan? We're doing the Goof Proof Trimmer from uh, ProNees and uh, Floormark exclusively distribute them in the UK, so uh, you can't get them from anywhere else. Apart is, from what is it, a vinyl trimmer? Or? Um, well, it does, it does stuck down carpet, it also does vinyl. I see it does uh, carpet tiles uh, on there. I don't know how I would get on with carpet tiles in this country. I have seen people flying down a whole wall with a hook knife of, of carpet tiles before, but uh, we don't tend to do that, do we? We tend to backmark our, our yeah. tiles. Yeah. It looks quite similar to the Easy Cut by Wolf. Uh, would you agree? Uh, well, a trimmer's a trimmer, basically. It, it has to have it has to have a blade like that, as if you was using your knife, uh, and it also has to have uh, up and down adjustment for for the length of the cut. So basically, if you're making a trimmer, no matter who makes it, it's got to have a blade either side, and and the blade has to adjust up and down. So uh, all all trimmers work on the same principle. This, this is a different idea, this, this doesn't weigh a ton. Uh, not everyone wants a 100 weight tool bag to carry around, so it's made of plastic, tough plastic, it's quite durable, and again, not many settings on it. Uh, to, to get it going, you loosen that screw, press down the blade till it stops, tighten that screw up, uh, and, and basically, if you're going, that, if you're going uh, left to right, you use the left blade, or right to left, you're using the right blade, and you've got this heel adjustment on the back, <coughs> which actually moves it up and down, which gives you a higher cut or a, a lower cut. So, so you can cut it a bit short, or you can cut it yeah. a little bit thick. Yeah. yeah. Uh, those blades are they, uh, the blades what we use in the loop power cutter. Yeah, they're the slotted razor blade style things, uh, and I think they call them the curved corner. Um, so yeah, j just a generic blade. Well, if it's a, a, a tool from America. The, the, the they tend Americans to use these a lot, use, don't they? Use yeah. those blades in the nights yeah. as well, don't they? Yeah, they, they, they cut the carpet with these blades as well. I, I wouldn't mind a go with uh, using some of these to, to cut the carpet with one of the days. So, uh, That's all they use in America. We'll get one of them cane knives and have a go. But uh, we'll get back to this. So basically, yeah, it's nice and light. It uses blades that are easily available. Um, so we've, we've set a bit of vinyl up here. I've had a fiddle with it. So we've got the heel kicked up a bit. To, to cut in a bit more. Um, You've got the heel up to, is that to cut it short yeah. or long? Uh, the higher the heel goes, the shorter you're going to cut it, right. and the lower the heel. So basically, the more you put the heel up, it, it's, going, it's like putting your knife up that way, and the more you lower the heel, it's like holding your knife. Right. Uh, so, so obviously, if you cut like that with your knife, you'll cut shorter. If you cut like that with your knife, you, you'll, you'll gain more. Um, does it, well, like any cut around you, it doesn't go into the corner? No, so no, no. It gets, it gets nearly into the corner, uh, and if you've come from the left side, you're that far off the corner. Obviously, when you get to the right side, you're this far off the corner. It's not really worth swapping the blades over. It's a small cut, so you just get your knife in. Do, do your, last, your last little bit with a knife. That's, that's how I'd use it. It's not worth taking that blade in, putting that blade out. There's, there's more time involved in that than cut in the corner so have you used one before have you seen one i've never seen one before i've seen about a year ago i've seen it advertised i saw the video uh, and i'd see these things and I, I think i wouldn't mind to go with them and today's the try in it so yeah. let's give it, a whirl. give it a whirl yeah again we'll start on this wall it, it's pretty easy uh, it, it flows no trouble at all just push that down like that it's a nice finish i tend to put relief cuts in when i'm using trimmers you, uh, you can see the, the, the waste fall away and you can see if you're cutting all right. So it, it, it does you well to keep your eye on your cut, not just blindly push along. Uh, so if you put some relief cuts as you cut, you tend to see it, the vinyl drops away and you can see what you've cut. But yeah. I can see it working well on long walls. You could yeah. get kind of a, a long straight wall quite rapid. Yeah, yeah. That, and this is what they're for, long walls. Um, and you just lock it in and push. Obviously, check your skirtings if they're high off the floor. You, you need to add extra on, so I'd, I'd stop the, the cut if skirtings were off the floor uh, and add some on to that. But yeah, they are good things. It doesn't weigh much. It uses blades you can easily get, and 
e see. easy to adjust. I've still got the vinyl setting in this for the carpet, but we'll we'll give it a shot and see what happens. Can you uh, can you set it so it cuts it too big so you can talk, or is it? It says it won't do a stretch fit, which I assume it, it will give you a bit more on the on the cut, but not enough to tuck. I so assume. really, just you, stick down the carpet. You could probably give it some more stretch afterwards and get enough to tuck, but or, or use a carpet trimmer or back cut it. So uh, yeah, I I wouldn't. Uh, just out of curiosity, Dan, try it on the highest setting and see. Just see if it does. How much it leaves on. That's the screwdriver from over there, then. Right, so that's the high setting. Yeah. So I'll get that yeah. one on. Was it like that? <laughs> yeah, it's just in a perfectly neck cut look. Yeah, it is. Yeah, yeah. Put, it, put it back to the other setting and see... Uh, how short it cuts it. Let's see how short yeah. it cuts it. So basically, I'd say that the, the adjustment on this heel, although you're doing a lot of adjustment, you're actually only moving a millimetre here and a millimetre there. So I would say that the four clicks of that are only giving you an extra mil or a mil less. So you, although you're moving that a quarter of an inch or half an inch up and down, it's giving you either plus one mil or minus yeah. one mil on, on a cut. So basically, you've got quite a lot of adjustment with it. So really, it's uh, for vinyl or stick down carpet, wouldn't you? Vinyl, stick down carpet, needle punch, yeah, yeah. 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 And but is it is it something is it something you'd use, Dan? You you do use cutters? I do use trimmers, yeah. Uh, I, I'll be honest, that, um, I, and again, I've, I've got a couple of vinyl trimmers. I do tend to use my knife with the vinyls. Um, I would like to have a go with my vinyl trimmer, but but once you. Once you're into it with your hook, I do tend to, to fit with a hook, but I use trimmer on carpets all the time. But it does work, and someday, say, in a large area, it would save you time. Yeah, uh, it definitely save you time. It would also, uh, you could get someone who hasn't got the experience with a vinyl to, to use it and get your big straight cuts in. I'd say it's a confidence builder, as well as um, a faster thing. Uh, and I think the retail like 50 quid. Yeah, yeah, well, it's well worth 50 quid, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah. And yeah. Most around the, around, around that. Most yeah. Around that yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. But I, I do use carpet trimmers, um, and I have got a, a new vinyl trimmer, and I'll probably have one of these in the future. Uh, and and they're good on the day you need to use them. Or also, if you've got someone with you, uh, they can be getting on and, and cutting with the trimmer, and you can do all the architrave. So um, yeah, yeah. yeah. Also, as well, the blades we use them on the loop power cutter, so they're easily accessible. Yeah, most as well, of us have, have got those kind of anyway. Supply. Yeah. So, anyway, and, and there's also four sides on them blades, isn't there? Yeah. So you turn it over and over the other way. So. Like we with our with our straight blades, it's yes. just two, two sides. sides. Yeah. You've got four with those. Yeah. And, and the blades are not. I, I buy those from the loop power cutter. They're not. They're not that expensive. No. No. So anyway, Dan, another great tool with you. Cheers. And we'll uh, see you next week with the next one. Yeah. Thank Cheers. you. Cheers. Bye.